All right, thanks for clicking on this thumbnail and watching this video. There's one iconic moment that stands out above all the rest for the Adidas superstar, and that was the signing of Run DMC to a sneaker deal. If you haven't gone and Googled that, you should Google it and learn some sneaker history, but it doesn't really come through in the sneaker, but that's what the sneaker's paying homage to, so we're gonna go through the good and the bad, what I like and don't like about this sneaker. All right, it is in the blue 50th anniversary box, which of course, yeah, has no 50th anniversary branding or anything on it. It's just still the plain blue box. Adidas, you could have done so much more. These to me are the best of the bunch. And bam, there's our box label. It's that blue box we all know and love that should have something about the 50th anniversary on it and something about Run DMC, but doesn't. But let's get into the sneaker. Of course, we have our branded, if it'll pick it up, so got the studio light there. It has Adidas branding on the paper. Nice, nice sneaker paper. Looks good, looks lovely. Oh. And that smell is phenomenal. It is a beautiful, beautiful smell. A fresh pair of DS Superstars. Beautiful. And of course, bam, there it is. Now, one thing I love about this straight off the rip, has beautiful quality leather, the whole entire sneaker. Even on the inner sole, you'll see there, look at that leather is beautiful. We'll be chucking up some B-roll shots nice and close so you can see that. And it is very well constructed sneaker. Nicely stitched, quality on it's really, really nice. And the leather is beautiful. So it, it really, really makes a difference. My last Superstar video, I absolutely flamed Adidas for um, putting all synthetic on the sneaker. When it is all leather, this classic design really comes into its own and is a beautiful, beautiful thing. But first of all, let's start with the cup sole. Look at that, the, the classic herringbone design, which hasn't changed that cup sole. This sort of wood grain around the side there. Beautiful big shell toe. It's what I've always called them as shell toes, rather than superstars. And that off-white cream color to contrast with the bright white leather really, really works, which brings it up into three stripes. And on the heel tab, of course, with our white tray foil. Could it have been in gold? Could have put a bit of gold there, but no, I really like the classic, classic white because it is paying homage to the originals that run DMC wore. And of course, there is absolutely nothing to tell us that it's paying homage to Run DMC. Of course, this is a bit which really, really confused me because it is paying homage to Run DMC and them wearing them laceless. That was a style that come from jails and the ghettos. He gave us some big fat retro laces and laces. I just don't get it. When the Jordan 5 laceless fresh prints come out, they didn't put laces with it. You don't need laces. It's a laceless superstar. It's a bit confusing for me. Yeah. But yeah, that beautiful leather quality. And look at that tongue there. It's another big feature with that beautiful Adidas branding. It's really, really nice. And look at that tongue. Look how thick it is thick and puffy and you'll notice the gussets there to keep it on your foot because if you've ever tried wearing superstars without laces it just doesn't really work uh, it's wonder like run dmc didn't trip on the stage and break their necks but yeah hey they didn't so yeah but this is really really well designed and just to put that quality leather and I just think the marketing side, you let it down a little bit, Adidas. Look at even that, even on the inner sole there, we have leather. 
on top of the Ortholite foam, which is really, really a beautiful thing. Even on the inner soul, you could just put a picture of Run DMC, maybe the lyrics to my Adidas. I mean, they wrote a song about the sneaker. Come on, Adidas, get your game together. And of course, we have that quality issue of the modern superstar that really, really triggers me. Is it's just a slightly squishy struggle straight onto the rubber cup sole. And if you watch my other superstar video, you'll see my triple white superstars from 2016. They had it used to put foam in the midsole, which made them super, super comfortable. Now we haven't got that comfort, little bit of comfort from the awful light. Um, in a soul, but awful lights isn't substantial. Foam is not substantial, so it, it's a big, big letdown. You've gone backwards in quality, and that's a really big, it's a really big gripe for me, really. Really big con, but other than that, the leather's beautiful on these, the construction is beautiful for out the nice, puffy, Firm tone, almost like a skateboarding shoe. Not that I wear these for skateboarding anymore because you haven't got the cushioning in them. But yes, they are still a banger. Look, I'm probably going to get my mate JC Souls. He customises a sneaker, young customiser here in Australia to actually um, put a few custom details on this. Hey, I'm not going to reveal anything. Me and James are going to work on it and. I'm going to put a few little tweaks to the sneaker, which I think will make it just that much better. And pay homage to the fact of the iconic moment of Run DMC being signed to an Adidas sneaker deal. Hey, I still think this is a beautiful, beautiful sneaker and it's my favourite. 50th anniversary superstar to be released. Would have just liked a special box, maybe a special inner sole, and a little card with the history on it. You know, that's just a sneak ahead in me. Hey, what do you guys think? Drop it down in the comments below. Hey, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Hey, I'm gonna throw them in on foot. Watch how you can see these on foot, how they look. And then, hey, why not watch another sneaker review from Kick75? Hey, only 120 subs away from that 1K, so hit that sub button. Someone brighter